Hello, my name is Giancarlo Parencio, and I'm going to present to you about lung cancer. So the basic about the lung cancer is starts in the lungs, can start anywhere in the lungs, can affect any part of the respiratory system. The fact that lung cancer is the leading cause of cancer death in the world. So introduction, most common malignancy in males around the world Leading the cause of cancer related mortality. Lung cancer recently passed heart disease as the leading cause of smoking related mortality. Overall, five year survival of 50%. More death by lung cancer can than the next four most common cancer combined collateral like glass, prostate, and pancreas. So the effects are 90% of lung cancer attributed to smoking. However, only 20% smokers will develop lung cancer in the lifetime. That from the other causes, CAD, COPD, generic disposition. So does, does it affect, of course, growth of tumor may block airways, making it difficult to breathe. <clears throat> The cancer cells can metastasize the lymph nodes and other parts of the body. And the risk decreases when, the, when you stop smoking. Yet, of the new cases are former smokers. So for the symptoms and sinus symptoms, a cough that doesn't go away or gets worse shortness of breath infection and such as bronchitis or coughing, uh, blood or rust colored speed or plague. Um, how this is how is this type of cancer usually have detected? It is usually found through chest, X-ray, CT scan. Um, though few few lung cancers are found in the early stages where treatment is most affected. So screening test to diagnose. But first of all, um, let me add something. Um, how is this type of cancer usually detected? Like I said, it is really found in X chest X-ray, CT scan. Though few lung cancers were found in the early stages where treatment is most effective. And how is this type of cancer usually treated? But we'll talk about that later. So I'm going to talk about the screen test to diagnose the chest X-ray. What you can see from the picture, you can see the healthy lungs without the uh, liquid. It's like mostly a liquid. Eh? And healer medial distinal adipathy, pleural effusion. What you can see is that the common diagnostics that the symptoms of the lungs are presented. And CT scan of thorax, no detail, classification, speculation, etc. Evaluated extension into adjacent structure. Evaluated extension to adjacent structure in the bronchial with vessels, pericardium, evaluation of endopathy, upper abnormal pathology, metastatic lesion in liver, adrenals, and kidney. So, if we continue, the sputum psychology helpful for central lesion. We three, three sample the detection of rate of central liquidity from the tumor, 50% detected rate from the peripheral. Uh, the last two I forgot the put there, but, but I, there's uh, four stages of lung cancer. The first stage, let me include that, the cancer is confined to the lung. Stage two and stage three, they're together, that the cancer is confined to the lungs, possibly the lymph nodes. In stage four, the cancer has spread outside of the lungs, other parts of the body. <laughs> so let me add something that, what are the drawbacks and concern for this treatment method? But to diagnose that you need that the chemotherapy, it's a treatment of disease that used for chemical substances and can cause side effects such as nausea, vomiting, some side effects go away after treatment is finished, but other side effects such as infertility may be permanent. Radiation therapy uses energy particles that may destroy cancer cells. 
and may cause damage to surrounding tissues depending on how close located is to the tumor. Mostly, you will shave your head or hair loss. Okay, so video flexibility, bronchoscopy, excellent to evaluate endoblocular disease. Brushing and bronchial biopsies are highly yield for the visible lesion. Transbronchial biopsies are large for lesion. Plus and negative fluoroscopic guidance, evaluation of obstructions, transplantment, bronchotherapy. For the neck, for the transbronchial needle aspiration, it's a needle very long. Allows biopsy of subcarinal and parotidal lymph nodes during flexible bronchoscopy. Helpful for staging, minimal risk to patient. This can be used for safety. It's very safe to use that. Actually, it's more like a mean, mini thing. <laughs> CT guided transthoracic needle biopsy. Peripheral lesion away from diagram. 25% of the thermopionomorax risk may be beneficial for poor operative candidates. Remember, remember, note this uh, negative needle biopsy results may be false negative. In perimeter studies, parallel CV detection, high numbers of stage one longer lung cancer in patient at high risk. However, the bending nodules were also discovered and were required close follow up. Some patients had surgery for bending disease as a result. Three large studies took promising. And for the molecular test that is available in the market, our PET scan. Biotoscope and endobiocal ultrasound, endoscopic ultrasound. For the PET scan, there are markers of active glucose with metabolism. You can detect lesion of 0.8 centimeter, 90% sensitivity, sensitivity, and 85% specificity. And let me include the prognosis of the lung cancer it refers to a chance for prolongation of life. And it depends upon where per cancer is located, the size of cancer, the presence of symptoms, the type of lung cancer with overall health status of patient. And the survival rates of for lung cancer are generally lower than lower those for lung cancers with an overall five year survival rate. Lung cancer about 16%. To 65% of colon cancer, 89% for breast, and over 99% for prostate cancer, which I already discussed in the introduction, that less is the lung cancer, 50%. So, so how would we go with them? How type? So how are we going to treat them? For me, I'm gonna ask myself. How is this type of cancer usually treated? So the treatment for lung cancer may include surgery, chemotherapy, radiation, or a combination of these therapies targeted therapy, laser therapy may also be used. So what I said before the surgery, radiotherapy, chemotherapy. So the surgery mostly for non-small cells, less than 20% of curable radiotherapy. Radical curative palliative symptoms control chemotherapy. Small cell potentially curative in a minority, non small, small cell more than survival increase, symptoms control combination of therapy. Yeah, that's what I said about the targeted and the laser therapy. And combination of radiotherapy, biological therapeutic therapies, palliative care. So brain rehydration for no asthmatic lesion, prophylaxis in both limited extensive disease, decreases the risk of, of developing brain metastasis, improved survival. So thank you for listening, and I hope you have a great learn learning about this topic. Thank you.